Hey guys, welcome to Dylan's Little Hobbies, and today we are talking about Ribrian. Why I dislike the character. Okay, I said dislike to be nice. I absolutely hate Ribrian. I really, really do. But I actually have reasons to why I really don't like Ribrian at all, and today I want to explain why I don't like Ribrian, okay? Okay? Now, I, I don't want to come off like I just don't like her because she's a girl, alright? Because the fact is, this show, while yes, it's, it's mostly made for boys, it does have a lot of amazing female characters. And I would never go up to a girl and say, you can't watch Dragon Ball because it's a guy show. And the, Dragon Ball is not just a guy show, okay? And it has a lot of fantastic female characters. For one, Chi-Chi. I know a lot of people don't like Chi-Chi, and she might be a bad example. But if you ignore what she was in Dragon Ball Z, because it was Dragon Ball Z that ruins Chi-Chi. If you look at the character Chi-Chi, she is a fantastic fire in her own right. She went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Goku and yes, had no chance against her. But she is a very prominent, strong-willed uh, woman. And she is a fantastic character and a great mother. Perhaps overbearing and protective, but yes. She, she, Chi Chi is a fantastic character, in my opinion, and I really do like Chi Chi. Uh, let, let's look at another character. Let's look at Bulma. Bulma is a fantastic, amazing scientist. She's super brilliant, like super brilliant, guys. And, oh my god, if it wasn't for her... Dragon Ball would not exist. It really won't. It is because of her that Dragon Ball exists. If you want to look at a main character, a lot of people will point at Goku. But God, Bulma really is the main character of Dragon Ball Super. She is a beloved character and she is a fantastic and important character to the entire franchise. If it if it wasn't for her, Dragon Ball wouldn't exist. You can't have Dragon Ball without Bulma. She's as important as, of a character as Goku is to the show, in my opinion. So yeah, Bulma is a fantastic character. Okay, Chi-Chi is a fantastic character. There are more characters, I'm sure, I just really can't think of it, because, again, the show was mostly a guy show, but for God's sakes, I'm not gay. But if I looked like Goku, I would have a hundred wives by now. Okay, let, let's face it. For a guy in his 70s, uh, almost 80s, the dude looks fantastic. <laughs> and for, uh, for God's sakes, I can easily see why girls would absolutely fall in love with this show. I absolutely do. Not to mention, the characters uh, Kale and Khalifa... I know a lot of people have problems with them, and and I really understand those problems. I don't agree with those problems. Some of them I do agree with, but I absolutely end up loving the characters Kale and Khalifa. I will agree that their powers might have been uh, too incredible, too quickly, and too... Uh, they were just gaining more and more strength a little too quickly, and it just seemed a little bit like they should have had time to go over that. They should have had time to learn that strength. But ignoring that, in terms of character, Kale and Khalifa are fantastic characters. Now, of course, their, uh, their fusion form, Kefla, I am personally, I personally wasn't a fan of Kefla. I wasn't a fan of Kefla being that powerful. And all in all, I, I look at Kefla, and while it, it's just a show, guys, I'm not like one of those people who get absolutely mad because uh, something doesn't go my way, but it, it's like, it's just a show, 
And at the same time, I know Kale and Khalifa so well because I've, of course, watched the show that Kefla was somewhat of a letdown to me. It really was, but I really ended up enjoying, I would take Kefla a million times over Ribrianne. Let's talk about Ribrianne, actually Ribrianne. So, the thing about Ribrianne is, okay, so I get that she's supposed to be a parody of the magical girl genre, like Sailor Moon and all that. Sailor Moon's the only one I actually know. Look, when it comes to parodies, Dragon Ball is completely full of them. Even in Dragon Ball Z, even in the original Dragon Ball, it was full of parodies. The Ginyu Force is a parody of Power Rangers. And you know what? There is a lot of parodies in Dragon Ball Super about the Power Rangers. And you know what? I was actually a humongous fan of Power Rangers when I was a little, little kid. And, you know, I have no problem with it at all. And I actually ended up really liking the, uh, the Power Ranger parodies, even in the show today. I will say that they do it a little too much, especially in the term of power. But I don't mind the parodies at all. And look... I look at Ribrianne and I don't like her because she's it's it's not that I don't like her because she's a parody of Sailor Moon or anything like that. Uh it's not because of her color scheme. Okay? She's a really girly girl, pink and green. Fine. I have no problem with it. You know what her attacks, her love beams and all that, uh her key blasts uh being in the shape of hearts, I actually thought was kind of interesting. I had really no problem with the heart beams. I thought she did them way too much. But I really had no issue when it came to the uh, hearts and the love and the, uh, 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 and the girly look of her. I really just don't. The thing I absolutely hate about Ribran is she is such a bland character. She is just so common. She's a common, bland, really, really terrible character. And in my opinion, there there is something that even the girly genre, the magical girl genre, Sailor Moon, and a bunch of other shows like that, that have that Ribbian doesn't. And that's character. She doesn't have any character, and her character was just so bland, you know, and, and when they tried to put a little bit depth in the character, like in the very next scene, like seconds later, the tiny little bit of depth and character growth that we did see of her was non-existent the very next second. She was such a bland character, guys. That's my problem with her. Absolutely. I hated her as a character. Love this and love that. And you know what? Her, her just saying love over and over again really got on my nerves. Okay, I get that she is supposed to be a parody of the magical girl genre. And they say, hey, love this and love that all the time. And they transform and have pink hearts or purple hearts flying behind them. I get that. Okay, but she did it so much. So, so much. And being such a bland character, that that's all you could expect from her. That it's just... She just got annoying at the end of the day. Such a bland character. Not, she's terrible. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I absolutely hate that about her. Love this and love that again and again and again and again. Her stupid poses. Her flashy hearts. Okay, I, I would understand if she did that maybe a couple times, but she did so much 
that she ran that joke into the grave. I'm I'm not kidding. She ran that joke into the grave, and I believe that even uh, fans, and I don't care if you are a guy, if you are an absolute fan of the magical girl genre, and you are a guy, guess what? I simply don't care, but I believe even people like that out there would look at Rebrian and see that she is a very, very poor excuse for a parody of that show. In fact, you can do a parody of Rebrian and make her ten times better. I swear, she is a terrible, terrible parody. And what's worse is they like put so much effort into making her that that the other characters around her end up lacking, in my opinion. And you know what really gets to me? What really gets to me about Ribrianne is she has so much screen time. So much screen time that she just seems to steal screen time from people that I would like to see. There are some really, really cool and amazing looking characters with amazing abilities in Dragon Ball Super and this tournament power that I really wish I could see more of and I don't care if they were brand characters too but I would have liked to see more of them and more of their abilities and there for what? One episode? Maybe for five minutes of the entire episode? Of the entire tournament power we get to see those people for five minutes and they're gone? Ribrian stole their screen time and that's that is that really disappoints me in my opinion. They spent so much time with Ribrian and they really tried making her a popular character that she ended up being the worst in my opinion. You know what, if they spent just a little less time on her and just a little bit more time on say that one guy uh, from Universe 3, the robot universe that could actually turn himself into liquid metal, I thought he looked really really cool and I wish we saw more screen time of him and maybe more screen time of him, less screen time of Ribrianne would counteract Ribrian and eventually she would end up being a good character. And look, her entire her entire transformation was a joke about how people let people transform in this show. Look, everybody in the show lets people transform into these amazing characters and nobody attacks them. So the joke was with her it was her and her team was to uh, to actually attack him uh, while mid transformation like nobody does that and I I did actually kind of laugh at that but still like she was literally there for that joke and that joke alone and then they decided to try to make her a beloved character and they failed they really failed you know she would be a beloved character if we had less of Ribian in my opinion. There was just too much of her, and she was too bland of a character uh, to have that much screen time, in my opinion. I absolutely hate Ribbon. Now, as funny, it's really funny I say that, kind of ironic, really, that in episode 117, she actually was kind of showing to be a really cool character. There was some character depth and character growth in her that I was slowly seeing and it's almost saddening that they took her out as soon as they were starting to give her character growth. But you know what? I am very happy that they did because seriously in the exact same episode, the very next second after we see that little character growth, it's like it didn't, it never existed. Like, in the very same episode, the very next second after you see that character growth, 
It never existed for Ribrian. It... <sighs> so that's why I don't like Ribrian. Because she is a bland character, we saw too much of her, and the whole girly genre. Look, I'm not a fan of it, but it's not because she's a girl or part of the girly genre, the magical girl genre that I hate her. It's because she's a very poor parody of that genre, in my opinion. That's it. I am thrilled that she is out of the tournament power. I really, really am. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments below why you dislike Ribian. And don't say because she's a girl, because she wears pink, because of her heart abilities. Have an actual reason why you don't like Ribian, like I do. I do not like Ribian because of the character itself. That's why I don't like Ribian. Because of the character. Not because she's a magical girl. A parody, but because of the character itself. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out. Bye! Thank God she is out of the tournament! Thank God she is out of my hair!